Worldwide, Alzheimer's is one of the most common forms of dementia. It is a progressive form of dementia that starts with mild memory loss. As the disease progresses, communication skills and the ability to manage daily life are lost. Alzheimer's affects the areas of the brain that control memory, thought, and language. In 2020, an estimated 5.8 million Americans were living with Alzheimer's disease. By 2060, this number is expected to triple to 14 million. According to the CDC, symptoms of the disease develop around the age 60. The number of people with Alzheimer's doubles every five years thereafter. By age 85, almost a third of Americans have symptoms consistent with Alzheimer's disease, including my grandma who recently passed. Scientists have worked hard to understand why Alzheimer's develops in some people, but not in others. Understanding why and how it develops is the first step to learning how to treat and prevent it. Risk factors for developing Alzheimer's include advancing age, having a genetic predisposition, having other medical conditions, exposure to harmful environmental factors, and making unhealthy lifestyle choices. Researchers in Australia may have had a breakthrough discovery in understanding how Alzheimer's disease develops. They used mouse models to investigate how amyloid beta damages the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier is a multi-layer structure that separates the brain from the bloodstream. It's how the brain protects itself. Researchers found that breaks in the blood-brain barrier caused by potentially toxic fat protein, meaning amyloid beta complexes, allowed them to enter the brain, causing inflammation and damage to brain cells, or neurons. You could think of the blood-brain barrier as a filter. It filters or controls which molecules can pass from the bloodstream into the brain. It keeps harmful substances and infections from entering the brain while allowing nutrients, oxygen, and water to enter it. It also allows cellular waste to pass from the brain into the bloodstream. Amyloid beta protein buildup in the brain is thought to cause Alzheimer's disease. Long before any symptoms of Alzheimer's develop, microscopic amyloid plaques build up in the brain. Sometime later, tangles of the tau protein develop. Over decades, these plaques and tangles start to accumulate, and in some people, they interfere with the normal electrical conduction of the brain. Though everyone has amyloid plaques, a genetic predisposition and exposure to environmental factors determine whether Alzheimer's disease ultimately develops. There's new research that provides clues about how proteins that are produced in the liver affect the brain. Researchers from Curtin University in Australia published a study in PLOS Biology. The study showed that amyloid beta was produced by the liver and combined with the fats in the bloodstream. These protein fat complexes travel to the brain and damage capillaries that make up part of the blood-brain barrier. The level of beta amyloid in the blood has been correlated to the severity of Alzheimer's symptoms. Blood tests are used to support a diagnosis of early onset Alzheimer's, yet it has been difficult to distinguish amyloid produced in the brain from that produced elsewhere in the body. Researchers used mouse models to compare a control group of mice to ones that were genetically engineered to produce human beta amyloid in their liver cells. The mice underwent cognitive testing. Those in the experimental group showed signs of cognitive decline earlier for those in the control group. So Dr. John Mamo, he's the director of the Curtin Health Innovation Research Institute in Perth, Australia. He led the study. Over 90% of beta amyloid in the bloodstream is transported from the liver to the brain by fats called lipoproteins. Researchers examined samples from both the mice and brains and livers. The mice brains showed brain cell degeneration, loss of cells, inflammation, and damage to capillaries. Markers that tracked nerve cell degeneration were twice as high in the experimental group compared to the control group. Further research is still needed, though, and it's important to keep in mind that this was an artificial model that may have supported the hypothesis that researchers were evaluating. So what about looking forward? Understanding how amyloid beta gets into the brain opens the door for new potential treatment options. Researchers can explore options to manage beta amyloid levels in the blood. They might also investigate how to keep beta amyloid from damaging the blood-brain barrier. This particular research is exciting because it suggests that managing lifestyle factors, like the amount of fat in our diets, can affect our risk of developing Alzheimer's disease.